All right, you guys, welcome back to Poly Strong. My name is Lorene. We're gonna work. So I had a request for some ankle weight, which is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Bela. I think it's like the heavier of the two or three that they have uh, ankle weights, but for the quads. And so this is gonna be like a quad front body focus workout. It's gonna hit up a little bit of everything, but it's gonna be great for the front of the leg. So anyways, I have this little bar here. You can use a foam roller, you can use a wall, whatever you want. We're gonna start with a little bit of a standing kick. So you're gonna bring your right leg up and actually what I'm gonna do, and you can't see it, but Rocky is squeaking his toy right now. Bloody, you're so cute. Oh my God. Okay, so you're gonna stand tall, get the weight centered, and you're gonna start with these little kicks. Like nothing to it, right? No big deal. We're just standing tall. We're trying not to lean. We're trying to keep our hips nice and level and we're kicking and kicking. And now already you're gonna feel like, oh my gosh, why did I choose the heavier weight? That's what I'm thinking right now. I actually meant to put on the lighter, which is on the floor. I don't know why I chose the heavier. I just like wasn't thinking but that's okay, okay? So we're gonna start with these little kicks. My abs are tight and I'm trying to really stay balanced here and kick. We're gonna add a kick and a lunge here in a second. Keep it going, keep it moving. Woo, feeling that, it's so good. Keep going and kicking and kicking. Three, two, now we're gonna add a kick. I mean a lunge to a kick. So you're gonna lunge, kick, lunge, kick. You don't have to use the whoopsies, the bar. It's just nice to have in case you need it. Uh, Rocky is very much wanting my attention right now. And I told him that I have to do another video and then that, that I'll take him to the P-A-R-K. And he, I think, knows what P-A-R-K means by now. <laughs> Keep going. Kick and lunge. Kick and lunge. So I'll kind of turn the side so you can see. So kicking, lunge. Kick and lunge. Kick, make it athletic. Kick and lunge. Keep going. We still have 30-ish seconds, I want to say. Kicking and lunging. After this, we're gonna do a straight leg lift, which is actually a little bit harder. Kick, good. Lunge it back, good. You don't have to go super low. Both sides are working. You don't have to use high body ankle weights, I know. Three, two, now stand really tall. You're gonna take your leg forwards. Straight in front of you, you're gonna lift. Just like in those ballet classes, which I'm gonna tell you right now, I've never been a dancer. I don't, I hate to say this, but I don't even think that I like dancing. Not because, I don't know, I've just never been into it. It's just not my thing. So bar, even though I've taught it, has been something that I've had to like work on getting used to teaching. Three, two, now watch this. You're gonna take your leg over to the side. Okay, so you're gonna make like this little round off. You're gonna reach up behind, bring it forwards. So you're gonna reach it behind, bring it forward. So we're still adding the leg lift, Wee! but we're making a little circle. It's hard to turn and show that, good. And lift, okay, so I will turn to the side so you can see. So it's circling it back and around. So you're gonna feel a little bit of your inner thighs here, good, and reach. So it's like you're making this like circle. You're bringing it around, lunging into a curtsy and a circle. Hold on if you need to, down and lift. And I want you to actively squeeze your quad here, guys. Good, I gotta stay focused so I don't lose my balance. Keep it going and squeeze. Down, squeeze, down, squeeze. So your heart rate's gonna go up here. If you can't already tell, squeeze. You can always do this without the weights if you would like. Keep going and press. Good, and press. Good, keep it going. Let's go for about 15 more seconds. Good, so it's a lift and down. And you don't have to go as fast as me. When I first started, I could not go that fast. You're gonna feel your standing leg work like crazy. So it's a little half circle. Three, two. Now from here, you're gonna go right into this little like full circle all the way forwards, crossing over, dragging around, curtsy. I want a deep curtsy. Bring that around. Find that inner thigh, slowly go back around. Deep curtsy, all right? So we're just adding on, that standing leg is gonna be on fire. Good, and you're gonna bring it all the way forwards. So if I turn this way, it's a deep curtsy. My leg is reaching up, forwards, inner thighs and quads, and sweeping it back. Good, keep going, Wee! and down. Got about 40 more seconds here. Hi, buddy. I wish you guys could see it, but Rocky's like just looking at me with those loving eyes. And here, so we're gonna feel that uh, inner thigh, your quad working. Your left leg is gonna be burning. We're gonna go into a sumo squat here in a bit. Your heart rate's gonna go up. Good, keep it going. And over, down. 
and over, and I'll kind of turn this way so you guys get a few angles here. 10 more seconds, keep it going. Almost there, squeeze, right? You want to think active with the quads. Good, three, two. Now from here, you're going to open up wide. You're going to drop your butt down, okay? So you're in this like wide sumo squat position, okay? You're going to do a little hold. Your back is relatively flat. If you need a hinge, you can, but I really want you to work on tall and down. My feet are open, my knees are open. It's like I'm trying to push my knees back, okay? Oh my God, he's so cute. Buddy, we're gonna go in a second. I wish you guys could. He's got that little paw look with the little dinosaur toy next to him. Oh, I know, buddy. Can we go, can we do later? Down and up. So a little sumo squat, and I want you to press through the floor, drop it down. Press through the floor, drop, drop it down. So your quads are warm, your butt's getting warm. Everything is working. I want you to feel that nice wrap. Your core is tight. I don't know if you can hear him. He's like whining a little bit. Buddy, oh, maybe you can see him in the mirror. I don't know. Down and up. I know, buddy. Five more seconds. We're gonna do a squat to arabesque coming up. But before we do that, you're gonna hold it down. Now lift your right heel and pulse, 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 pulse. We're gonna switch the legs coming up. You got eight seconds here. Pulse it down and up. Down and up. They're so hard, you guys. Abs are in. Good. I'm a little hinged forwards for this one. I'm gonna try to stand up a little taller. Three, two, and switch. Go down and down and down. Keep it going. Both legs are gonna come up here, or both heels are gonna lift in a second. Eight more seconds. Keep going down. Think of the down. Down and push to the floor. Down and push to the floor. You're gonna feel all those muscles work. Three, two. Now both heels lift and little pulse and pulse. You're gonna feel the shaking, guys. It's so good. Your heart rate's going up. Stay focused. Five, four, I'm gonna fall. Three, two, and then release. Oh, I almost got that down. All right, so now you're gonna take this, you're gonna squat it down. So feet are gonna meet together, squat down, hands on your knees. I'm gonna walk away from my bar, and you're gonna lift. So I think this is an arabesque. See, I said, like I said, I'm not a dancer. Squat and lift. Let's just call it a squat and a leg lift. I'll look it up later. Good, keep going down, and then reach down and reach. So my thighs are together. I'm squatting down, I'm lifting my leg back and I'm extending everything. I'm stretching the front of my body. If you guys do a lot of my videos, this is gonna feel so good. And reach because we do a lot of abs, right? Just stretching the abs and reaching. Good and down and stretch. You're gonna feel your glutes. So this is one of those workouts that I feel like does get me a little bit sore. If I haven't done it for a while, I'm pretty breathless right now, you guys can tell. You got still 20 more seconds. Squat, reach, squat, reach, squat. Just getting your body to move, right? And reach, and down, and reach. Focusing on the whole body, glutes, thighs, quads, everything working. We got a, a grab and a toss in three, two. Now from here, maybe lunge into your right leg. You're gonna pretend like there's something on the floor. You're gonna grab it and toss it, okay? So you're gonna grab it, toss it. Little grab and toss. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pivot off of that back leg. You're gonna feel as that back leg turns, your quad, everything internally rotating as you throw and then actually rotating as you go down. So there's a real powerful feel as you push through the floor and you go down and you push. It's not just butt, it's the whole leg. Keep going, three, two, now from here, you're gonna curtsy lunge and tap. I'll turn to the side so you can see better. And curtsy, tap. Curtsy, we're gonna switch sides. 10 seconds of this little curtsy and uh, tap. Good, keep going. I'm like, you know, trying to talk and do this. Keep going. You got about five, four, press your left leg, get it warmed up. It's gonna take over in a second. Three, two. Now from here, left leg bends. You're gonna grab something and you're gonna toss it. So as I'm tossing, internally rotating, and then I'm gonna go back down, grab it, and toss it. It's so easy to be like lazy in these moves, but you wanna be active. Like you got something heavy, you picked it up, your abs are working, and you're tossing it. And toss, and grab, and toss. And toss. Now on this side, this is the rib that comes forward. So you can see I'm really trying to keep my rib in as well because of my back just tends to come out a little more on the other side, just with my bones. Good, keep going. Three, two. Now you've got that curtsy on your right leg. So it's a curtsy, tap. Curtsy, 
tap. Sorry, curtsy, tap. Say it right, Lorraine, come on. There, tap, curtsy, tap. 15 seconds here, you guys, keep it going. I'm gonna step back a little bit so you can see better. Down and press, so driving through that leg. As I'm pressing up, I can feel those muscles around my knees and my thighs. We got those slow kicks coming up and then we're switching sides. So one more thing on that right leg. Keep going, three, two, now stand tall. Now here we go, bring that right leg up. So we're gonna slow it down a little bit. Right leg comes up, hold, extend, hold. So we're gonna do about eight of these, okay? Five, four, three, two, lower down. Little tap and bring it right back up. Little hold each time. We got eight of these, this is number two. So really flex that foot. It's like you're trying to bring everything this direction with the leg. You're flexing and pulling everything in towards your midline. And lift, hold. These are hard, very, very hard. Hold, especially with an ankle weight, God. And notice I'm not going too high because I don't want to lose my balance. And lower. Oh, there he is. Well, hello. I know, buddy. We're going to go in a second, I promise. <laughs> I just feel so guilty. Good, keep holding. Three, two, lower. Is this number three? I think so. Number four, sure, why not? If I'm on off, who cares? <laughs> Hi, buddy. And then lower. So really focusing through that quad and through that leg. Your standing leg is working. Four more. Okay, trying to stand tall. You will want to lean back, but try to stand really tall if you can. Lower. Three more, and then we're switching. Whoops. Hi, buddy. You can hold on to your bar if you want to. Notice when you hold on, it just helps you stay more balanced. You can actually feel it better. Two more. Bring it up. Hold it, squeeze it, you can point or flex, I don't really care. Just make sure your weight is centered. And then lower. Did I say two more? Oh my gosh, I can't even remember anymore. Let's just call us our last one, it'll be good, it'll be good enough. Okay, hold it. Five, you can always switch sides when you do the videos anyway, so it'll be good. Three, two, Okay, that's burning. I wish I did take the yellows now, not the pinks. Okay, so hold it, good. First one's a little bit longer. Oh buddy, I know. So it was like super cloudy outside this morning. Our weather's been wild here. Um, and now it's starting to like get more sunny. And I just bought this like horsetail bamboo and I need to find pots for it. Uh, pots are so expensive. Okay, hold it up. I mean like they're way more expensive than the plants. I saw some pots that were $600 because they're giant and they're like ceramic and then lower. I didn't know that, I've never bought pots that big. So I'm gonna try to look for some other options here because I'm not paying $600 for a pot. Um, keep holding, flexing, flexing, and then lowering. But it is for outdoors, so it's like, I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. I've got some other options. There's like different materials you can buy, like Viking stone. I don't even know if that's the right way to say it. Two more, Woo! flexing, flexing, holding, holding. So that's my little mission today. That feels so good. Let's do, I think let's just do two more because I feel like on the other one we may have done an extra, but I could be wrong. Hold it, squeeze it, and then lower. After this, you guys, we're gonna go right into our um, stand, I'm sorry, our half circle curtsy lunge. Whoops, almost fell. All right, now from here, guys, you're gonna go into that like half circle. You're gonna go, this is the deep one. You go here and you bring it forward. So it's like this, it's a little bigger than half circle, but you bring the leg all the way around, you drag it around, and there's a little bit of inner thigh lift there. So it's down, bring it around, good, and lower back down. Okay, so keep moving through this, and then back down. I'm gonna scoop back a little so I clear my little, that thing. I like to use that thing for a lot of stuff. Good, abs are in tight, lunging down, bring that leg around. You can see how that weight at the ankles makes it super challenging to hold your balance. And when I bring that leg around, you guys, I'm not just like bringing it around like this, I'm like strong, engaged, and then bringing it back around. So as soon as I lift that leg, quad and glute working together, bringing it around. Okay, keep it going. I'm gonna bring that around again. We've got about eight seconds here. Keep it going. And then we got those straight standing leg lifts, and then we'll add in that little round off. Okay, four, three, two. Now straight leg lifts. This is the one that I hate. I hate these. I hate this, I hate this exercise. I don't hate a lot of extras, I just hate this one. I don't know why. I think it's just really hard, it's balanced, and it's just not, I don't know, it's just hard. <laughs> Keep going up, 
We're gonna add that little round off coming up, okay? So it'll be a round off with a kick. I'm gonna move back a little for that and lift and lift and lift. You guys can feel that work. Lift it up higher. Three, two. Now it's a less of a curtsy, a little smaller of a round motion. You're kind of bringing it more close to you versus way out there like we did with the other one. So it's just kind of coming forwards and up and forwards and up. And you're just really focused on squeezing through the front of that quad. You've got a little bit of time here, a little more than 40 seconds and bring it in. So it's not as low of a curtsy. The, the work is more about kind of keeping the leg close by as you swing it around. So again, it's not way out there like that. Woohoo! It's more like just a little circle, a little half circle. So it's like a, I don't know, it's like a croissant versus a, uh, how can I put it? A rainbow, right? Keep going. Cause croissants are like whiter and round. Good, you got tw about 15 seconds and then bring it up. And then we've got that standing kick. We're gonna take that into our kick to lunge. Five more seconds here, good. Reach it, squeeze it, feel those quads working. Good, three, two, now standing, kick, and kick, and kick, and kick, and kick. Woo, it's burning. Good, I'm gonna hold on for this one because I feel like I'm leaning a little bit. Nice and tall, soften in your stand leg is okay. Now ready, you're gonna kick and lunge, ready? It's a lunge to kick. I like to swing my arms, press, down and press, down and press, one full minute here guys. Keep it going, down, kick, lunge, kick to lunge, kick to lunge. Abs are tight, heart rate's going back up, keep it going, almost there. We still have 45 seconds, good. Kick to lunge, kick to lunge. Your standing leg is working, quads are working on that side, so is your butt. Boom, down, boom. And you can kind of lean back for this one. I'm okay with that for this one. Good, you got 25 seconds. Almost there, guys. Almost there, we're almost done. We get a stretch after this. Keep it going, kick. Kick like you mean it, but don't lock out your joints. There is no locking, be really careful with the ankle weights. And again, you can do this whole thing without ankle weights if you want to. 10 seconds, down, kick, down, kick. Really work those legs, some power. Good, three, two, and then release. Oh boy, that was so good. All right, so let's take a minute, let's bring that. Woo. Here I feel it sore. Bring that right leg up, take a little stretch. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe, share, guys. If you want to like hinge forwards a little bit, you can. Just feel that stretch through the front of that leg. Trying to get to 5,000 subs. If you're watching and not subscribed, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. I know I don't always respond fast. I just, I teach a lot and I just don't have energy sometimes to look at my phone or anything. And I, but I always appreciate when I see it pop up and I always eventually do respond. Do know that you guys are in my mind. When I go to bed, I'm like, I have to respond. So this was actually a request from someone and then switch sides where they requested an ankle weight quad workout. You guys will already feel that, that's sore, right? Anyways, guys, awesome job.